I would like to start by saying thank you to the Board of Directors for my nomination and the Executive Director and staff at Fulbright Greece for their support prior to and during my grant. All of you believed in me personally, my teaching, my research, my vision for education. And I'd also like to thank my Greek counterpart at the University of the Peloponnese. Without her, none of this would be possible. And for all of you, I am eternally grateful. It's been 15 months since I was awarded this grant, and I still cannot believe that I'm a Fulbright Scholar. I applied for the Fulbright because I believe that learning does not end at the classroom doors or walls, and that the students I work with have experiences and stories that matter because they matter. I have as much to learn from my students as they do from me. In this way, teacher and student become co-producers of knowledge, and together we shape an interactive learning community that's built upon trust and mutual respect. The classroom then becomes democratized and a place where we can reevaluate what it means to be educated. And for people like me, professors, what it means to educate. Fundamental to my teaching practice and my ethos as a human is that I believe in building relationships with students, my colleagues, with places I encounter. So if I truly believe that education exists outside the classroom door, then it's my job to expose my American students, my American university students, to other people, places, and ideas. My project here in Greece is centered on developing an educational space across time and place that will link my American students to Greek students. Here, working alongside the University of the Peloponnese in Korinthos, I am laying the groundwork for my American writing students and a Greek classroom to be conducted upon my return. My Greek colleague and I will co-teach some lessons. We're going to pair our students up on Fiverr and other social media platforms, and we will have our students collaborate on a digital storytelling project. American students will learn from Greek students, and Greek students will learn from us. And this will not be done in an effort to change one another or to force our will upon the other. It's meant simply to teach our students how to communicate across difference, how to coexist in an ever-changing world, and how to listen with care. The curriculum emphasizes a better human skill set. And along the way, we'll do writing and English and all the things I have to do for my job. So education should not take place in a vacuum. We do not walk the world alone. COVID has taught us this. We must change with the times. Why not create classrooms that connect students to each other no matter where they reside in the world? Why aren't we learning from each other? Learning in the 21st century demands that we instruct students to think thoughtfully and critically about other people and places, to consider our spatial gaze as fundamental for global understanding. We can do this by simply being exposed to other people and their stories, by working together, and by getting to know each other by starting conversations in an effort to create a more just and equal world. My position aligns with the Fulbright mission, which aims to do the same. So I'd like to end with this. Greece is obviously a beautiful country. I don't need to tell anyone here about the fairy tale villages that dot the shoreline of the Peloponnese Peninsula, the historical treasures that are literally everywhere, or Greece's amazing beaches. It's a magical place. But to me, it's the people that make Greece magical. I've met lovely people who have shared their lives and experiences with me in their homes, and I have listened to stories that have illustrated Greek pride for their connection to their land, their rich and uh, democratic history, their faith, cultural heritage and understanding. Greek kindness and hospitality are second to none. I have been overfed, showered with oranges and honey and olive oil and lemons and mastika. I've been treated like family in this now my other home, and these are the stories that I return to America with. And these are the thoughts I will offer and share when I'm asked about Greece. So on behalf of myself and this year's cohort, thank you for this opportunity of a lifetime. Donors, you are angels among us. And now I'd like to invite the 2023-2024 Greek grantee, Maria Tsikidi. She's a visiting research student from National and Capital History and University of Athens. And she's going to Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore for biomedical engineering. scholars and esteemed members of the Fulbright Grace community. It is my honor to stand before you today as a new member of the Fulbright Grace family and share my aspirations and the impact that the Fulbright program can have on my academic and personal growth. As a PhD student of a Greek university, I am grateful that I will have the opportunity to collaborate with academics in the U.S get valuable knowledge in my field, 
and maintain the strong bonds between the two countries. Ever since my undergraduate year studying pharmacy at the National and Rabodistrian University of Athens, I have been deeply passionate about my academic field. Alongside my studies, I became highly motivated to bridge the gap between knowledge and public awareness by effectively communicating the vital information I had learned in my classes. This desire led me to actively participate in student organizations of which I cherish the sweetest memories of engaging in various health campaigns and community activities. As a member of the Greek health community, my ambition is to harness my expertise in pharmaceutical nanotechnology to contribute to the advancement of my field. As I usually describe my subject in this area, we are trying to develop tiny Trojan horses that can deliver uh, drug molecules directly to the affected areas um, reducing systemic adverse events. By using this technology, I aim to make an impact in the treatment and prevention of serious neurodegenerative diseases. I am grateful for the opportunity to be supported by an international academic and cultural exchange program in pursuing my goals. Conducting a portion of my PhD uh, research at Johns Hopkins University one of the world's leading institutions in my field is an incredible privilege. During this period, I will have the unique opportunity to assess the safety and efficacy of novel advanced therapeutic medicinal products. Um, moreover, I will have the opportunity to, to utilize cutting edge technologies in accordance with the latest guidelines from medicine agencies. However, the significance of the full bright program extends far beyond academic achievements. I am particularly thrilled that the full bright program places great emphasis on fostering strong bonds among inspiring individuals from diverse backgrounds. This interaction not only breaks down stereotypes, but also cultivates mutual respect among nations. Collaborating with young scientists and working in interdisciplinary and multicultural groups, nurtures an open-minded community, paving the way for innovative ideas and solutions. On behalf of all the Greek Fulbright scholars, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to Fulbright Greece for inspiring us to pursue our dreams and become the best versions of ourselves. To our dear family and friends gathered here today, we extend our heartfelt thanks for standing by us during this pivotal time in our lives. Your support and belief in our potential have propelled us forward and we are grateful for your presence here. As we embark on this exciting chapter of our lives, we carry with us the hope of making a lasting impact through our doctoral research, professional collaborations and educational exchanges. We anticipate the opportunities that lie ahead and prospect to reuniting with you all in the near future to share the knowledge, experiences, and friendships that the Fulbright program has bestowed upon us. Thank you once again for your unwavering support and for joining us in celebrating this significant milestone. <coughs>